Hey everyone, so this is going to be another tarot deck review. This is for the Trick or Treat Tarot by Barbara Moore. And the illustrations are by Jonathan Hunt. Hopefully you can see this. There's the spine. Oh. There's kind of the cost. And then here's the back of the box. Hopefully you can all see this. Some sample images, which I'll show you the individual images as always. Um, here is the guidebook. Sorry, I'm trying to like stabilize you guys. <laughs> You're on a stack of books on my bed. So I'm trying to uh trying to show you. Okay, so there is the companion book. Hopefully y'all can see this. All right, so the companion book is really cool. Look how pretty that is, it's awesome. Very Halloween-y, as it should be. Has some very cool images in this book. Um, because the cards, like I love the artwork, I think they're cool as hell. Here is the table of contents. Which, I mean, is the typical tarot stuff, you know. But it shows, you know, kind of where everything is. There's the introduction. It's got a very mod, whimsical twist. So I like it. And it tells a little bit about Halloween and stuff. Tells you like the basics and that kind of stuff. And we'll skip ahead to kind of show you the cards. It has the major arcana and it has a minor, of course. So you have a legit page dedicated to each card. Like it's what the image is on the card. But it's a full page of color, glossy color. Tells about each card, a little bit about it, what it means when it comes up keywords for the card and the reversal meaning so yeah all of them are like that um let me skip to mate the minor even the minor arcana ones are like that that's cool so the whole book is and it's a good book it's a pretty thick book it's color kind of color coded um around the edges i did not notice that really so yeah that's pretty pretty neat it has uh spreads in the back two of the books so yeah that's the companion book what it looks like the guidebook and then on for the fun part which is the cards we get them situated if I can maybe okay so we'll go over the majors first as usual here is the fool and they're pretty glossy, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, here's the backs. So it's just like the uh, inner cover of the guidebook. They're very thin, um, but they're they're pretty cool. They're not bad cards, so I like the images a lot. There's the magician. The high priestess. Empress. Oh, I love this one. The Emperor. That's cool. The Hierophant. I love that one. The Lovers. Oh, cool. Cat and Hat. Thing one, thing two, kind of. The Chariot. like a creepy demented yet yeah, whimsical I don't know how to explain the artwork it's neat though strength it's like beauty and the beast bell rose beast beauty very neat 
the hermit. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. That's pretty neat how they have uh, shows and movies and like characters and stuff incorporated in these cards as well. Justice. <laughs> Hanged man. I like that one. That's neat. <laughs> Death. Temperance. The devil. Tower. The star. The moon. The sun. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Judgment. And then the world, which is what's on the cover of this box. So there's the world. Pretty neat, pretty neat. And then we'll, we'll, we will go over the minor cards. Here's the wands. You have Ace of Wands. Two of Wands, so oh, that's a cool zombie one. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Ooh, if I can hang on to the cards. <laughs> I've had such trouble hanging on to these cards lately. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, that one's pretty cool. Oh, very Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sisters. <laughs> Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Oh, that's cool. Eight of Cups, <clears throat> Nine of Cups, I like that one. Oh, we got the Wizard of Oz, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. She looks creepy. Creepy Glenda. <laughs> or maybe? She looks like Glenda. She could be some other fairy princess queen thing. I don't know. Queen. King of Cups. <laughs> Ace of Swords. 
two of swords. Three of swords, the poor pumpkin. Four of swords. Five of swords. Six of swords, that's kind of cool. Seven of swords. Eight of swords. Nine of swords. I like this one, the ten of swords. That one's cool. Love that one. Page of swords. Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Love that one. It's very simple but pretty. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. I love that one. Very cool. I love that one too. Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. That's neat. I love that house. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. It's got Cruella and the uh, 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> oh, I love this one. The Nine of Pentacles. I love that one. That's on the inside cover of that box, too. I noticed. Uh, and the Ten of Pentacles. Got like modern day monster family. She also kind of looks like Sabrina, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, but they're kind of supposed to be, I guess, like mo the monsters, you know. Uh, Page of Pentacles. <laughs> Very Donnie Darko-ish. Knight of Pentacles. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. And last but not least, the King of Pentacles. <laughs> Alright, so those are the cards of the Trick or Treat Tarot. So hopefully you all enjoyed. And yeah, I like these a lot better than the actual Halloween Tarot. Um, just, oh god, I just did not mean to throw those. Um reviewed and I'm just not a huge 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 fan of that but I still will keep it just to kind of have um just since it is the Halloween tarot but as far as a true Halloween tarot deck I actually like this one a lot better even though it's m more modern versus traditional I do like it I think it's pretty cool for more of a modern Halloween tarot deck if that makes any sense so anyway I thought just that I'd show you that and share that with you um, that's all I have for this evening. So anyways, I hope you all enjoy. And until next time, thanks for watching, guys.